that's how you're gonna get to a thousand dollars a day with clickbank you just rinse and repeat higher this number is that's usually an indicator that the product is selling what is going on guys paul james here welcome back to another video so there's people out there who are making a thousand dollars plus per day on clickbank so what i wanted to do in this video is shoot a beginner's guide on how you can get started using clickbank in 2019 as a beginner and i'm also going to show you how to do it without a website so basically we're going to be covering five steps in this video as long as you smash that like button for me and i'm going to take you from start to finish on exactly what you need to do if you're a beginner if you don't have a website and you want to get started making money on clickbank okay so we're going to go ahead we're going to dive in and we're going to start working on this so the first step that you need to do is you need to pick a niche so a niche is basically like an audience that you're going to decide to target and that you're going to basically build your uh, whole offer around so the way that this works is I recommend that you select a niche that is evergreen. That means that it's never really going to dry up. There's just tons of people out there for it. Um, health, wealth, fitness. These are all examples of good niches that are evergreen. There's always going to be people looking for these types of, of things. Hobbies are good as well. Like for example, you might go after, um, I don't know how to play guitar or something like that. There's probably always going to be people who are looking up how to do that. And essentially as an affiliate, because ClickBank, it is an affiliate network. It basically holds a bunch of offers and then you go in there, you can pick out an offer and then you match it with someone who wants to buy the product. You're basically the middleman here. That's what's so cool about it because the person who owns the product is going to pay you a commission, usually 50 to 75% for recommending that person into their program. So if you find people out there who, for example, your niche is learn how to play guitar, who don't know how to play guitar, but they want to learn and you recommend the program and they buy it, you're going to get paid a portion of that. So that is step one, pick a good niche and try and pick it in a niche where it's going to be evergreen or where there's always going to be people looking for it. Don't go like too specific where it's like so highly targeted that there's just no one out there looking for it. Don't make that mistake. Okay, step number two is we're gonna need to create a ClickBank account. So I'm on my computer here, and if you just come over to clickbank.com, you're gonna scroll up here to where it says create an account. And again, ClickBank is an affiliate network. It accepts affiliates from pretty much every country except a couple of them. So it's really kind of the go-to one out there, and it just has tons of offers. I mean, if you look on here, tons of offers like here's this is actually funny I mentioned how to play guitar because here's actually an offer here for that or here's an offer for photography numerology you know just so many different things singing there's just a lot of different things but you come up here you hit create an account so step number two is you're gonna need to create an account and it's pretty easy you come in here you fill out all of your details first name last name address and then it's gonna ask for your banking information this is so that they can basically transfer money over to you um, they used to do checks as well, so I don't know if they still do that where they can just send you a check every two weeks, but they used to do that. I have it set up as direct deposit straight into my bank account, so that's what works out good for me. But fill this information out. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through and fill it all out, plus I already have a few accounts on ClickBank, um, and I don't really need another one, but go through and fill those out, and that is step two. Step three, we're going to need to actually find a product. So once you've signed up for a ClickBank account, I'm going to come in here and we're going to go through and show you exactly how to do this. So you're going to need to come up to the marketplace tab up here. And this is going to be all of the affiliate products that ClickBank has in its inventory. Basically every single product that you could potentially promote. Now, a lot of people, they'll just come down here and they'll search through the categories. It's usually what I do, but they do also have a search box up here as well where you can type in like, for example, if you wanted to do the guitar industry, like we were talking about, you could type in guitar and it's going to show you some results. Let me try and zoom in on that a little bit. So the important thing here that I want to share with you is if you were looking for a product just on guitars, like how to play guitar, there's some metrics that you're going to want to look at to help you pick out the best one. So basically here's the different metrics. They have the initial sale metric, that's going to tell you how much you can make basically off the initial sale. It's going to tell you the average sale percentage. 
So 70%, that's like the commission that you'll make on the on the average sale. And then there's a gravity. It's, it's abbreviated G-R-A-V. And this will have a number. Now, the higher this number is, that's usually an indicator that the product is selling more and that it's a hotter seller for affiliates. So most people, when they're looking for offers to promote, they basically pay attention to this metric and they try and pick a gravity that's highest. So go through and start looking at those gravities, like this one's 0.27. So, so far this is like the, the highest one that we found. And uh, just keep going through and seeing which one you can find that's the highest gravity. This one's 1.99. Um, so this one's a software, revolutionary PC software helps guitarists learn the guitar fretboard, blah, blah, blah. But they do have an affiliate page as well. So I normally like to open that up and look at it. And let's see what they have going on here. So they'll tell you a little bit about the offer. You can sign up for a mailing list. They'll probably send you different, um, you know, tips and stuff of how to actually promote their offer. And yeah, you'll just find some miscellaneous stuff here. It just kind of gives you a rundown of what the program is. This one looks like a little bit outdated page. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you would search through by doing it that way. If you want to do it category way, then you would come down to categories and you would just find, you know, whatever category you wanted. Like, let's just say we were looking into sports. I could come down here and hit sports and it's going to show me I've got the results sorted by popularity right now. Um, but we could sort this by gravity too. But here, this one's vertical jump training. So this teaches people, obviously, I guess, how to jump higher. And they have a gravity of 34.74. So kind of a nice little interesting niche. $40 is the initial sale, 75% commission. Let's open up their affiliate page. So it'll tell you they've got low refunds. That's good. That's always something I like to look at. They've got follow-up emails going out. So you know that if you send a lead into their product, they're going to have follow-up going on so that they don't lose any of the traffic. They're not wasting it. So that's good to know too. So anyways, once you decide on an offer, the next thing that you're going to want to do is step uh, four. So that was step three. Step four is you're going to need to grab your link. So I'm going to hit this promote button here and that's going to pop open a new window. So we're going to hit this button that says generate hop links and it's gonna give us our affiliate link right here, which we can then go and copy and paste. So that's how we generate our affiliate uh, short link. And we're gonna copy that. And what a lot of people like to do is they like to shorten this link. And I'm gonna explain how to do that. If you shorten it, it looks a little bit better instead of having all of these weird digits behind it and stuff like that. It just can look a little bit better. So there's a bunch of link shorteners out there. Bitly is one of them. You just pop in your link here and you hit shorten and it'll shorten the link for you. Um, and then you can take that link and it's gonna you know, be smaller and you can forward it off to people. It'll automatically forward them when they click on your affiliate link um, or your shorten link and it'll go straight to the offer. I like to sometimes buy a, a domain name from GoDaddy or from any other URL service domain name provider. Um, you can see they have an offer going on right now for 99 cent.com domains. So like if I was going to promote this vertical jump offer, you know, I might go and buy a domain name on GoDaddy and call it like howtojumphigher.com or something like that because that's going to make people really want to click on it more than if I have something that says like bit.ly forward slash, you know, whatever. It just, it just looks a little bit better and more enticing for people to click on. So that's an option as well. And the way you would do that is you would type in what your idea is for a domain name that you'd like to buy and you hit search and then you'll purchase it. And inside of GoDaddy, I pull up an image here in Google Images. They have like this little thing called domain forwarding. And where it says forward to right here, they put in their facebook.com. That would just be your affiliate link that we generated from ClickBank. And then you would just, you could leave it set on temporary and then forward only and hit save. And now that'll make it so that whenever someone visits your domain name at GoDaddy, that they'll automatically be forwarded over to your affiliate link. So again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. You don't even have to do Bitly if you don't want to. If you don't want to shorten it, you can just copy the link straight from ClickBank when you hit promote and then send that. But I think it works a lot better if you do one of these two. I personally prefer the GoDaddy method. But yeah, it's a little bit more complicated, a little more steps to it. But that's step four. Step five is we need to drive traffic now to this affiliate link so that we can actually get our link in front of people so that they're clicking on it, they're seeing the offer, they're signing up for whatever follow-up emails they have, and hopefully this product creator then will be able to sell them the product if they need it, 
and boom, we'll make 75% commission on it. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. You could go into Google and you could search for how to play guitar and you could start uh, going through and like looking for websites that already have it and leave comments. You can do YouTube videos. So you could go on YouTube and click how to play guitar. And I mean, some of these videos have 9.9 .9 million views. So you could try and drop your affiliate link in here. There's no guarantee that it's gonna stick. You know, that's kind of, it's a numbers game because some people are just going to delete affiliate links when they see them pop up or links at all, but some won't. You know, you'll go through some videos and they will actually have lots of affiliate links on them. And uh, you know, if someone clicks that link, you're gonna drive traffic to it. The other thing you could do is you could do the same thing with like Facebook or any other social platform really. And if you see a post that's popular, you could comment on it. Or if you see someone who's like, hey, any recommendations for how I can learn how to play guitar better? Boom, you just copy and paste your affiliate link and it's gonna forward over to the product creator's website. And it's nice because this way you don't have to have your own website up. The other thing that you can do is you could reach out to these creators on YouTube who have these popular videos. And if they don't have a link already, like these guys already have a link, but I'm sure there's popular videos out there that probably don't have links in their description yet, like this one ha doesn't, you can go and you could ask them if you could rent a spot out in their description to put your link to your affiliate link. And then that way, every time someone comes through their video and gets paid, uh, you'll get paid basically every time they buy the product and you could basically pay them to put that link there. And it would be worthwhile, right? But you could always just, like I said, go through and make you know, post comments to affiliate links and hope that it sticks. And sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But anyways, guys, that is the five steps. That's how you're gonna get to a thousand dollars a day with ClickBank. You just rinse and repeat, do this as many times, as many hours as you want during the day to actually get to that point. You may even decide you wanna scale and hire virtual assistants and help you scale this method up. But this is a, a real way that you can actually go out there, promote affiliate offers without having your own website. And uh, hopefully I've made it easy for you to get started as a beginner and actually take action on this method. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you haven't smashed that like button already, please do that for me right now. If you're new here, drop below and subscribe to the channel and tick that bell notification icon so that you get notified every time I release a new video. But until next time, guys, we will see you in the next video. I am Paul James. Peace out.